on the City Hall of Camden. You got an inscription by Walt Whitman. In a dream I saw a city invincible. Well, in a dream I see a country invincible. If we care enough to make the effort on behalf of every child in this country. Camden is showing that it can be done. I want America to show everybody around the world that it can be done. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you. Hey. It's Mayor Fontaine from the south side of Jersey, Camden, New Jersey, resident, born and raised. Real name is Jameer Delia. I got Fontaine from the, the movie The Godfather, Johnny Fontaine. Just fly on there, he used to scale all the hoops, you know what I mean? But if he had problems, he never had to get his hands dirty. He had people behind him, they gave the mob for that. So uh, all he had to do was focus on his success, that's kind of how I am. Where I come from, it's like the jungle book. You got gorillas, AKA goons, street niggas. You got snakes, deceitful, backstabbers. You got rats, self-explanatory. You got your sheep, your, your wildebeest, everybody that just follows the trend. You got all of these type of animals. Right down by the river in the hanky panky. My bro got shot by the bank to bank. He said he, I eat my pie. Skittle, diddle, turtle, pie. Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm friends and leave into the plane. Like Who the It has been compared to the surface of the moon here on Earth. Every street you walk on is either a drug set or is arguing. We have a youth crisis here. The people that are killing each other are between the ages of 16 and 24. Would you come and live here? No. In the city full of hustlers, the good die young. If you ain't got a gun, then it's best you run. When the cops come around, you better bite your tongue. Man, it really goes down where I'm from. In the city of Camden, niggas don't know how to act. Fuck around and put a strap on me. In the city of Camden, young niggas running with their gas, middle fingers screaming, fuck the police, don't fuck with my hood. Do you want to stay in Camden? No. And Ray, what about you? What do you want to do? You want to stay around here? I grew up in Camden, out East Camden, 30th and Clinton Street. Most of my years was uh, either living with my grandpa or around and whether we were across the street or something like that. My grandpa being a school teacher, Muslim, ex-Black Panther, all of that, you know what I mean? I want to say that was a pretty good male father figure for me. Kept me uh, focused on the books or my sports. And my grandpa was pretty much the safety net for if we really needed it. To be strong and then to emerge out of any situation, you've got to fight. And this city is either going to make you great or it's going to pull you under. Dr. Sharif Delia, Mir Fontaine's grandfather. We knew he was talented and focused towards the arts early in life. He started out with his visual background. It wasn't until he got into this high school, which was creative arts, we really started to see him expand. His first, he was in ninth grade musical, and that was the beginning of music in itself. I was fortunate that he was an excellent student. Uh, from learning to read and do math at, at three years old, he just took off, but he knew education was the foundation. The good thing about living in this city, he sees both avenues of what he can do. He sees professionals living in the city, he's interacted with them, but at the same time he sees that if you don't keep your head screwed on right, you can fall by the wayside. So loving what's happening and I'm happy for him because 
This is truly what he wants to do. I say if I want it, then it's mine. I'm all about the Benjamins. Slimy ass niggas ain't shit like chitterlings. Run up in your crib and kidnap all your chillings. Oops, I mean children. I'm taking over like a pilgrim. I'm balling on the budget, but my swag is on a million. I'm a menace, so bitches scream my name like oh Mr. Wilson. I keep a bitch like Rihanna or Carrie Hilson. Racist and Sicilian, but thicker than a Brazilian. Jeans so tight, I wonder how she got that ass in. Sat up in my ride and had my music all blasting. She called my whip flash, cause I'm faster to be dashing. Superman money, so you know I'm flying cash in. I said my phone's for the ring, the bone is everlasting. Why don't you put a big station, a permanent station right here? Why don't you have a comp on this corner? This corner is a representation of about 150 corners in the city that are like this. Um, we just don't have enough resources. Oh, yes, I've, been, good. I've been checking out the video. Awesome. <laughs> Thank awesome, you, man. Awesome, Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate it. This is so awesome. Welcome back to our neighborhood. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it feel crazy right now. Let it feel crazy? Yeah. It's memories really crazy right you yeah. know i still got that old, old bicycle pump. oh remember yeah i remember pump, that right? yeah. you know it's <laughs> used that old pump, that's right? crazy i used to always get my uh, bike pumped up because that thing used to always go flat out here yep yep <laughs> always that's, yeah, awesome. that's about all his life pretty much yes you know i mean he's who he is <laughs> he's never changed today you know the same beautiful young man that we've always known the neighborhood loves him my door was always open. Deep, 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 deep. Yeah. <laughs> My wife comes and says, Come here. <laughs> What's it's up? Crazy. What's up? Chuck, what's going on, right? Yeah, man. It's good to all see right. you, good Mr. Chuck. I'm going to get in your way. That's all right, man. Going. Okay. All right, man. This was the block, though, right here. This is my first house right around the corner from my grandpa. It was just me and my mom. We lived in here in apartment D. I can come in here if y'all want, you know what I mean? That shit wild. From since I was born till I was like about seven years old, we lived here. It was a long time. And then we finally moved out and just started bouncing around the city. Cause either the landlord was an asshole or it was like, it was hard to make rent. We gotta go. Man, the streets is for real, man. Like, the streets ain't no game, dog. I don't know where you living at, but I'm in the hood, you heard? Dog, I get mine. Okay, bet. Came in this bitch with the flex. I'm why these niggas upset. Okay, boo. Young nigga breaking the rules. Getting in the pool. I'm cool. Ooh, ooh. Heard you ain't making no moves. Heard you ain't paying your dues. Oh, goddamn. I like I came from Japan. I don't know I like the clap. Okay, bet. Okay, boo, your nigga breaking the rules. Getting hit in the pool, I'm cool. Ooh, ooh, heard you ain't making no moves. Heard you ain't paying your dues. Oh, goddamn, I was like I came from Japan. Still in the hood like a clown. I'm going to stand up myself. I'm going to stand up myself. Okay, where are you? And he makes it. It's good. Okay, time out. Okay, Camden's Dewan Wagner is considered the best high school basketball player in the nation. That lofty ranking was never more evident than last night. Wagner scored 100 points in a game against Gloucester Tech. Wagner is just the 13th high school player in the nation to ever score 100 or more points. Basketball fans are still talking about Dewan Wagner's 100 point game. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. 100 points. Believe in yourself, believe in you. Stay focused on your goals to accomplish whatever it is that you want to do. Might blow a hundred bags. Might drop a hundred for none. I bought like a wanny was. Living out North Camden was mainly my high school years. That was around the time my mom was married to my then stepdad. That's where I got in the most trouble, I want to say North Camden, because it was like I was trying to find myself as a teenage kid growing into a man. I was just out in the streets outside the most for the, like, the latest nights and all of that. I was just running wild around that time. You can actually park up somewhere, Chris. I used to live right here. No, they tore it down. Oh, well, that's wild. Yeah, we're not Definitely got to get that on camera. That's wild. Where'd you live, right there? The right where that shit is at. Here? Yeah. All 
my sophomore, junior year. Used to live right here. Matter of fact, it was this house that I saw the fucking Eagles lose to the Patriots in the Super Bowl. I was so fucking mad. I was like, yeah, the Eagles finally gonna get this chip. Oh, I made a lot of friends out here. If you heard this on What You Doing, my boy Mozzie, he used to live around the corner. That's the one that uh, got killed. In the back alleyway, like behind our house, it was like a small ass alleyway. It's real, real thin, like you can only walk through that thing. You used to always find little like stashes and shit, whether it be drugs or money or whatever, it was just always just back there. He ain't never fucked with it, but it was just a, it was like a part of the environment pretty much. But that shit just blows my mind now to think about shit like that. There's a lot of memories in that house. It's North Camden days, man. My stepdad had a lot of family that lived in North Camden, and a lot of them lived in Northgate. Northgate has a lot of stories in it. It's a Section 8 building, it's real poor. So many deaths, murders, unsolved murders, suicides, a lot of stuff going on in there. I was in high school when they, uh, it was like a kid that got caught up on some type of drug or whatever while he was babysitting his daughter and ended up like setting his apartment on fire, barricading him and his daughter in, decapitated uh, his daughter just so she stopped screaming type shit before the cops can get in. But it was like, just story that you hear like that and then you just supposed to just keep on going with life living in the city. But at no point should you be numb to shit like that. Like that's a problem within itself. Northgate, don't even got a 13th floor. That's how much uh, superstitious they are. So much bad shit going in this section they shit. Who killed Bad Bunny? <laughs> Somebody threw a rabbit out the window? Get that by the bitch. See that white, they just threw a rabbit out the window. It's crazy. That's <laughs> fucking wild. Shout out my boy, though. that's my man's right there, man. That's my man's, I done watched him grow. He, he definitely official, man. Definitely official, fuck with that cat right there, man. He's special. That's a different guy right here, man. Oh, I'm around the call. I got you, bro. Like all your life, it's like the city had a mask on it. Your parents would kind of warn you and shit, like, oh, come in before the street lights, all that. But you think that's just parent shit. You don't read the paper. As a kid, you damn sure not watching the news. You, you watch the cartoons and shit. Life is beautiful. But once you start, you know what I mean, seeing your friends die or people you go to school with stop going to school and just disappear off the face of the earth. And then you find out, you know what I mean, they got drove over the bridge and tortured type shit during school hours. Like shit like that fucks you up. And shit like that, it, it becomes every day. Like, I mean, that's just Camden, but you don't want to blame the cities more so the situations the people in the city are in. I always say you blame the crabs in the barrel or the motherfuckers who put the crabs in the barrel. Sway in the morning, shade four or five. Mike Zombie is on the beats. Uh, Mir Fontaine. Y'all ready? You first to rock. Hey. Uh -huh. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I got uh. it. Are you on? Hey. Uh, uh, uh. Born and raised in the jungle, the murder count is ridiculous. Guns black like licorice, even babies ain't ticklish. All my niggas is ignorant, dropouts, illiterate. I was out here getting it, trying to work on my penmanship. Daddy ain't around, so we young, wild, and undisciplined. Copping work from Dominicans, only loyal to Benjamin. Choppers like an instrument, make them sing a symphony. Cross that line like immigrants, hollow tips in your memories. Young girls raised off of hatred and jealousy. 15 and pregnant, titties ain't finished developing. Dropping to my knees at the front of the cathedral the blood in the holy water's evil city of the reckless the cemetery's peaceful talking about life to a field of dead people nigga where i'm from you watch your step and watch your word because niggas leave your brains on the street and leave your dreams on the curb boy hey 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 the fact that camden is so i don't want to say unknown but it is unknown to people who haven't actually been there and all they have to go off of is headlines. I use that to my advantage to the point where since you don't know what's over here and you don't care to know what's over here, I'm gonna create 
what's over here. And I wanted to give off the, the sense of uncertainty, the sense of not knowing what's about to happen next because you don't know what's about to happen next when you're living under those type of circumstances. I have the, the record deal and all of this. I stick out amongst everybody else who seems to be, you know what I mean, adapting to their environment, so to speak. I think that uh, Mir is probably one of the first to talk about that middle ground of someone that's not in the street, but witnessed a lot of things, and he's basically like the voice for that, I feel like, that medium. Like, Mir says it's the city of the lost, like city of the lost and the city of the youth. It's like a war zone a lot of times, and it's, it's a city, but it's small. Everybody knows each other. You got kids that's like 14 years old, 12 years old, getting killed because they in a gang or getting shot up or whatever the case may be. I lost my cousin, um, and his name was Kevin Miller. You know, he was a part of a gang or whatever, but it, was, it wasn't gang-related stuff. He lost his life over a female. When you grew up in this area, you don't, you know how people be like, oh, you got an option to do the right or wrong. That's hard when you come when you come from this area. It's hard when you come from the hood. You know, you are a product of your environment. So what you, what you see, you soon become, you know? So we don't really got a lot of options like everybody else do. You still got people that die every day, go to jail every day. People, you know, that got money, that don't got money. We hear that every day, so it's numb to us. Like everybody here is numb to that. That lifestyle. I want to sit here and talk about the positive coming out of Camden. Are you either, you know, made, made for this shit or you not? And I feel like all my brothers is, it could have been a lot worse than it is now. I ain't gonna lie about that. I got money on my mind. I got pain deep in my soul. watching the kids like if nobody's watching the kids then the kids are watching themselves and if the kids are watching themselves you're going to get these type of stories that you hear in Camden and that you hear on the project it got to a point where Camden was just out of control it was like the police weren't doing their job to the best that they could the people in the, in the city just got frustrated stopped caring police just started quitting once the police started quitting they brought in like uh what is it guardian angels some shit start shooting at them they was there for two weeks two weeks out of there. And then they brought in the militarized police, the niggas that just walk around and stuff like that. He was shooting at them for a little bit and then it kind of like got better a little bit, but still it never really changes more. So they, they focus on numbers. They are doing some drug busting shit now that I'm seeing, but I don't see really a difference, honestly. It's like, you still got that same, gotta look over your shoulder at least twice when you're walking down the street type element, even if it's the cops. definitely don't have any hope. It's nobody really kind of step into the plate here to help these children. Oh, you get your, you get your <laughs> 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 Yeah, 
Hold it down, hold it down. Don't forget your kids. Yo. Came a long fucking way, niggas. Facts. We got a sellout show now, you know what I mean? We did all this shit from the bottom. And we only going up from here. And I can say that with 100% positivity. You know what I mean? Thank all of y'all for being here for this moment. We about to shut this shit down. I know it's about to be hot as hell. But we gonna do this shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and uh. I love all y'all, man. We doing this shit for real, man. It's not even, it's not even no fucking niggas just saying this shit. We doing this shit now. Southside, Southside. I know it's hard as shit. You know this shit. Make some noise. Let me out. 